Here's a quick video I wanted to show you guys of just a simple pack of capacitors with a cap lead already on there and some pigtails. Here's some examples of what I end up doing. A lot of times I'll take uh, like this 1035 uh, volt capacitor right here or maybe one of these smaller uh, 470, 35 volts. You can see it's a bit smaller. And then I will take the leads, kind of solder it onto the XT60. And then uh, you have this at the end of the pigtail. Now there's kind of a big debate on whether or not this is doing nothing. Uh, this is kind of where I prefer to do it because a lot of times there's not enough room inside the build to kind of put these things. But for a couple of bucks, you can get a five pack of these things. So this has like one of these little cap cap things already installed for you and it's wired up so then you can put this on any build you can keep the wire short and all of this work that you end up having to do with the double-sided mounting tape is already done for you and then you can mount the cap anywhere inside your build that you can fit here's one on the pigtail you can see how banged up this thing has gotten from crashing a lot it's actually probably doing no more good this thing's busted needs to be replaced here's another method of on the pigtail where you can have this type of little cap cap thing out here but again look at that this one is banged up too no good here is the UR UAV method. I've gotten a little bit of double sided tape and then reinforced it with a zip tie to go right here. Not really any chance of getting banged up and the wires are already there for you. So I can just put them onto the power pads and it's kind of nice, easy and out of the way. I could locate this anywhere. This is a tight potted racer, so there's no room inside. So you pay a couple of bucks for this. I've seen these like anywhere from eight to 12 bucks for a pack of five. But if you consider the fact that you usually pay $1.50 to $2 just for the cap itself, having these already pre-wired up for you is just a couple of bucks uh, extra as a luxury. It ends up only being cents extra per build and this saves quite a bit of time. I actually like this thing on here a lot better than extending these little leads like this, and then it's kind of messy, and then you have this exposed part right here. If you can find the right um, size heat shrink, it works out pretty well, but ever since I ran out, I haven't bought more, and I ended up just covering it with uh, Super 33 um, electrical tape, which is not the best looking solution. So this ends up making uh, your quads look quite a bit neater. And again, you get a whole bag of these suckers. It comes with five and I've already used up two on builds recently and they're working quite nicely. What do you think in the comments, guys? Do you want to see any more of these really quick videos on just little quality of life tweaks like this that makes your builds a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner, and makes less time on the bench, more time flying in the field? Thanks, guys.